Christmas. We wish for you and yours the glory of this day. For not only has light shined into Bethlehem's manger, but it shines in our hearts. For the one who comes, comes for all. Not only to be born to the world, but to be born in each of us. This is the most glorious of days. And we are grateful for your presence in this place. And we pray that God's richest blessings be upon all that we do. Amen. 
Well, for the last four weeks, we have been lighting our Advent candles and singing our Advent candle song. But today, these are now the Christmas candles. And so we will sing our Christmas candle song. And so usually we invite all the children to come down, but I'm going to invite all of you to be children today. I'm not going to invite you to come down, but you can stand where you are and let us sing our Christmas candle song. <laughs> Opening hymn number 220, Angels from the Realms of Glory. remain standing, join your voices with mine for the prayer for Christmas Day as printed in your bulletin. Child of Bethlehem, man of Nazareth, Christ of God, with Mary we treasure the stories of your birth and ponder over these things. May the celebration of your birth, both in this place and in our social circles, bring glory and praise to your name. Amen. And let us now affirm our faith in the God who was born as one of us on this Christmas day. Please join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, 
born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. this Christmas day.
Will you please be seated? Let us go to God in prayer. God of love and God of light, we join our voices with the angels today. We sing glory to our newborn king. We thank you for your ultimate gift, the baby in the manger, no crib for a bed, who is poor, vulnerable, needing to be cared for, and who will later have no place to lay his head. As we make room for him in our hearts and in our lives, give us strength to follow him in his ways, to follow him down the streets where the poor and the downtrodden live, to follow him into the places where the vulnerable and desperate cry out, into the places that are dark, but where his light shines the brightest, and where the darkness cannot put his light out. We thank you that with this birth, God and sinners, you and we are reconciled. That in this newborn child, we see clearly who you are and how you are. That with this child, we are brought light and abundant life and eternal life. That with this child, we are assured of your love and mercy towards us. We thank you, God of love and God of light, for the heaven-born Prince of Peace, for the Son of Righteousness, for Emmanuel, God with us. We will continue to sing glory to our newborn King, not just today, but every day. We will live for him, and we will live like him, and we will pray how he prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As we come to our time where we will receive our morning offering, we pause to give thanks in all things. We declare each week the things for which we are thankful and how we are blessed in this place. We are blessed to live in a community where people will gather together on this day, the holiest of days, and to say welcome to our newborn King. And we thank you for your presence in this place this morning. We are thankful for the beautiful music that surrounds us, that points us directly to God. We are particularly, I am particularly thankful this morning uh, for Roselle being here to play, and she is experiencing low impact aerobics as she moves between the piano and the organ. <laughs> and we are indeed grateful for you in this, in this day and in this place. Uh, our ushers are in place. We now invite them to come forward that we might receive God's tithes and our offerings. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth.
present, children of all ages, to come down forward, meet Reverend Ken and I down front. We are going to tell you a very, very, very special story. Even some of our youth who used to be in the children's what department, we invite you to come. Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, I'm going to read you a story right now, straight from the Bible. And this is the most important story that you are going to hear today. So I want you to pay special attention because this story is the reason why we're all here today. So let's put on our best listening ears. And I want to tell you the story about how Jesus was born. And this is from the Gospel of Luke in the Bible. Now, you probably know some of the story, but I want you to listen real closely. Joseph and Mary were on their way to a little town called, you know what the town was called? Bethlehem. And they had to go there because the emperor wanted to tax people. And so we all know that Mary was about to have a baby. And when they got to Bethlehem, the time came for Mary to have her baby. And she gave birth to her firstborn child, a son. She wrapped him snugly and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the guest room of the inn. Well, nearby... There were shepherds that were living in the fields and they were guarding their sheep at night. Then the Lord's angel stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them and they were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. Look, I bring you good news. Wonderful, joyful news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great assembly of the heavenly forces was with the angel, and they were praising God, and they said, Glory to God in heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go right now to Bethlehem and let's see what's happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. So the shepherds went quickly and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told about this child. Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. Mary committed these things to memory and she considered them carefully. The shepherds returned home glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen. Everything happened just as they had been told by the angels. Today is a day of presents and gifts. We receive gifts because God gave us the greatest gift in Jesus. And what I want you to remember about this service today and what I want you to remember about Christmas every day is that without Jesus there would not be a Christmas tree, there would not be Christmas presents, Christmas dinner, Christmas worship, 
It's all because of Jesus, God's gift to you. And we've, I've been reminded of that all day. When I, when I woke up, Sarah D and Cooper are already at Grandma's house in Lane, but there was a present left with my name on it and the instructions to open it on Christmas morning. So I opened it this morning, and inside were pictures, portraits of my mother and my father. What a great gift. My family. Another gift that God has given. God's given you family, too, to love you. I'm reminded of that today. I, I look at the Christmas trees. Which way do they point? Do they point up? I look at the light on the candle. Which way does it glitter? Up? I look at the cross hanging there in the chancel. It's up. And what today reminds me of is that all of us are to look up because the greatest gift comes from Him, the gift of Christ who gives us the gift of family, who gives us the gift of one another, who promises to be with us and to love us no matter what. There are people in this sanctuary today who are thrilled to be with their family. There are people in this sanctuary today who are celebrating miracles that God has brought to their life this very day. There are persons in here who are celebrating the fact that they are not alone. There are people who celebrate the family that surrounds and that when they reach out to take someone's hand in this sanctuary today, they can. There's somebody sitting very near to me who's celebrating a new life in his midst and one of God's great gifts. And again, we're glad she looks like her mother. <clears throat> I'm only teasing you, Jonathan. <laughs> and for you, my friends, before one final word, let me just share with you now. I have a gift for you. For every one of you who have said at any point in time during the ten years that I've been here, we never get out of church early. <laughs> Hang on, Christmas is on the way. <laughs> the last thing I want to share with you as we look up is to remember that Jesus is not given to us. He is given to be in us. And this child will grow up to be the Savior of the world and will give His life for you upon the cross that you might have life and live it to the fullest. There is every reason to look up today. To look up to God, to look up to Jesus, to look up to heaven, to look up to our salvation, and to simply say, thank you, God, for all you have given. Would you bow your heads with me and let's share a prayer? Dear God, thank you for Jesus, a great gift, and we thank you for Christmas, asking that Jesus be born in us. Amen. My friends, our benediction today is going to be sung. We're going to ask the children to remain here. There are two verses of joy to the world. It will serve as our collective benediction. I invite you to stand as we together sing.
and go in peace. Merry Christmas. Amen.